Hello gorgeous. My name is Dusty and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. If you would like to enter to win a half hour FaceTime reading, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and commenting. Blessing. I hope everyone's doing well and vibe and high. We are going to do a you versus them. The overall energy between the two of you is a yes. This or something better is happening for you very soon, probably within a week or two. This is a good choice. There is definite potential here worth investing in, waiting for. Your dreams will soon come true. Follow your heart and move ahead. Beautiful. Love this. You could have just meant someone new and it is a yes. They feel it's a yes. You feel it's a yes. And it is moving forward or will in the next week or two. Um, there is something happening between you and the person on your mind very, very soon. This is a relationship worth that has been worth the wait. It, you could meet this person online. You could be a Gemini, a Sagittarius, or a fixed sign. You and this person have a very deep spiritual connection. There is a lot of confusion between the two of you and there will be a decision that needs to be made. There could be another lover involved. Maybe you're just casually dating and you're both getting ready to not see other lovers. It looks to me like there's a very good opportunity coming in in love here. Uh, some of you, you have not even met this person yet, but they are energetically already surrounding you. Very, very good. Why so much confusion here, though? There could be a decision that you need to make between you and a, between another person um, and the person on your mind, or they could be trying to make decisions. Yes, yeah, see, there's a cycle closing out. You could have meant someone who has not got out of a relationship quite yet, or maybe you're not fully out of the relationship quite yet. And you both need to make some clear decisions here for this to move forward. There's a lot of feelings, a lot of love, um, and cycles coming to a close in your life and in this person's a karmic cycle has came to a close so now you're ready to move on to your new cycle and so is this person if you have been having trouble if you all are in separation now that this current cycle has came to a close you'll be able to start over again and and you know this may actually turn out very beautifully Moving over to your energy, urgency, rushing or pushing things too quickly, whirlwind, romance, impatient for a commitment, feeling like time is running out, too much pressure. You are feeling pressured and rushed. Slow down and listen to your heart. Don't move forward until it feels right. Some of you feel urgency. You feel like it's been too long since you've been in separation or too long since you have been single. You're ready. You're ready to move on to this new cycle. You could be finally feeling ready to move forward from a past lover that really hurt you. Some of you are moving on to a very beautiful, beautiful relationship that will actually turn out to be much better than the relationship you're coming from. There's um, urgency in your energy. Why? Or you feel like the person on your mind has a decision to make. You have gave them an ultimatum. It's time. It's now or never. You have let this person know you are no longer waiting for them because they've been juggling you. Most of you are in a situation where you know there's a third party. You have told this person that you want to work on things. Um, but they could be not a hundred percent out of a relationship yet, or, you know, the divorce isn't final or they haven't moved out yet, or they haven't given you a decision yet. And you're really at a point where you're ready. You're ready to move forward and you're ready to let this go unless they, they make some clear decisions. Because you're getting downloads. 
your guides are giving you downloads. You're getting downloads that it's time to move forward. Some of you here, there's a lot of fear. There's been a lot of illusion. There's only so much you can see, and that bothers you. Um, and so you're starting to get to a point where you're tired of waiting for this person, and you're not going to wait anymore and, and unless they come in and tell you, you know, that they want to be with you. You've been happily single. And again, you know, there, there could be child custody things going on, child support things happening. This person seems to have cheated on you. They had played some mind games in a very masculine energy. You've been trying to uh, live happily single. You've been career focused. Your spiritual gifts have been coming in. Like I said, you're getting downloads. Some of you have found that you have a gift for something. You're very gifted in a certain area. The relationship really stimulated all of your chakras and you, you started your spiritual journey because of it. Um, you know this person's going through legal matters or, or child support things or a divorce and you're getting tired of waiting for some. For others, this person stabbed you in the back, in the back with a third party. So you are moving forward and in the next few weeks, you will have something better come in for you guys. Those that are moving forward because they stabbed you in the back and you're unwilling to work on anything anymore, you have a brand new situation coming in for you. And it's going to be much better than what you're coming from. Moving on over to your person's energy. This makes total sense now. Family, obligations, home, stress, distractions, and time constraints. Another lover or marriage in the way. Shared custody, blended families, disagreements over parenting. Sharing more obligations as a couple, interacting with kids. A lot of you, this person is stuck in a situation with a karmic because they share children or they have financial responsibilities and you have given them an ultimatum that it's now or never. You're not playing around with them anymore. You are ready. You are ready to start your life with them or you are moving forward. Some of you could share obligations with this person. You could have you know, financial things together, children together, and it's been holding you back from moving on, but you want to work on things with them. You want to try to come to a place where you all agree and, and you're getting along and you're working on your relationship. But this person seems to have other obligations outside of your relationship as well. They could have kids to someone else that gets in the way, their family. They could send money home to family and friends out of the country. Um, there's a lot of obligations that they have and it's interfering with your relationship. But in the next week or so, there's, there's going to be a turning point here. This person may tell you that they have made their decision, that they are walking away from a third party. My Luna got this card. Um, that they are walking away and uh, finally choosing you and your relationship. They could actually tell you that, you know, they're ready in the next week or so, ready to start their, their life with you. But they've been being pulled in many different directions and they're not sleeping. They're very regretful for not choosing you to begin with or they're very regretful for allowing um, these other people to get in the way of your beautiful romance and love. This was a very beautiful union and this person dropped the ball they could be a cancer a lot of cancer energy here what do they have to say i'm really attracted to you i'm still so attracted to you we are destined to be together i'm not sure how you're going to react when i tell you this I'm walking away from toxic situations. My guides are good. See, this is what I'm saying. This person 
doesn't know how you're going to react, but they are coming in to tell you that they're walking away. They're hoping that you react the way they want you to. Some of you, you gave them a time frame. You said by by the end of July, if this has not changed, I'm leaving. And they're going to tell you that they need another month, but they're doing it. I actually think this person is getting ready. They've had to emotionally disconnect. They've had to get their self ready to disconnect from this situation. And um, that's what they've been working on is disconnecting from this toxic situation that they're in. You know, it, it hurts, but to say this, and I don't want to trigger, but after you have spent a significant amount of time with somebody, it's not usually that easy to just say, bye, see ya, um, sometimes, but it feels to me like this person has had to make a lot of sacrifices here to walk away or to be with you. Maybe they've got to leave their children. Perhaps they've got to sacrifice money and, and things that they worked hard for. There's some reason why it hasn't been just that easy to uh, choose your relationship, even though in their heart, that's what they have wanted. They feel trapped. Some of you, this person was trapped with a child. Others, they were trapped financially. They had someone that was uh, manipulating them with money. They are drinking to cope right now. Yeah, there was a Jezebel. They got trapped in a situation with a Jezebel. You all need to cleanse your energy here, okay? Because whoever this person's been, uh, you know involved with whoever they have been in a relationship with guys this person uses their dark feminine energy to manipulate they use their sexual energy to manipulate and trap this person that's how y'all got here some of you were living together you were building together this person meant someone new at work out and about online whatever and um they got trapped in this toxic, wet, their toxic web. And this Jezebel, uh, we're going to clarify that. I don't know how this, I don't know if this other person involved um, is going to just leave them like alone if they're going to keep trying to get them to come back or not. They feel like a jackass. Some of you, there was a pregnancy, there was a love child, I'm telling you, and they feel like this person did it on, on purpose to trap them. That's for about 10% of you. Tell me about this Jezebel and how they're going to feel when this person walks away, please. Some of you here, this person's mother doesn't like you and they... um. It's one of the reasons why they, they could have set them up with this third party. Others, this person has children to this Jezebel. That's why they've been moving so slow. This third party is going to enlighten you with on some things. You may actually get a phone call. You may get some message here um, that they're going to tell you some things that you may not want to hear for some of you. I wouldn't even talk to this person. There's no need. They're just being spiteful and mean. Um, it, they definitely seem to have kids to someone else, but this is a counterpart connection for you. Leo energy, Aries energy, Taurus energy. This third party feels like you all have a deep connection and they hate it. They absolutely despise how deep of a romance you all have and they're going to try to come in and enlighten you with some things about what this person has said or done, or it's just nonsense. It doesn't even feel, um, you know, necessary or like a lot of it may not even be the, the full truth. Yeah, it's sneaky. It's manipulating. This, this Jezebel here has hidden intentions. So whatever they want to say to you, it's not even true. They could send you a text message. You could be 36, 41, 21. You could have a child under the age of one. Capricorn energy, Scorpio energy, Aquarius. In the next 14 
to 21 days because this person there's a lot of blockages and obstacles there's been delays and struggles this third party is trying to keep them trap them hold them back with manipulating them with sex money drinking partying there's been um, a lot of resistance this has been a difficult relationship for a lot of you and that's why some of you are moving forward to a new romance this this new thing coming in tell me about the new romance worth waiting for here that has a lot of that's going to have a lot of potential this relationship with this person has a lot of potential guys but i feel like it's going to depend on can you get over the cheating and the backstabbing some of you the answer is no i'm not someone that could do that i i i can't if someone is breaks you know their their bond with me the loyalty with me that's it for me but you know not everyone's like me some of you you want to work on this and some of you you have children and a family and respected so there's no disrespect here but those that do not want to work on it and are ready to move forward you will start your new adventure and take a leap off the cliff tell me about this this new person, oh, very beautiful. Now, it's a small love offer at first. You're almost there. You've been really wounded, very burdened. This new person coming in, they're coming in fast. They have a small love offer for you. This is a brand new situation. They're going to ask you out for dinner, coffee. They're going to ask you to go for a walk, something small, but it's new nonetheless, and it has a lot of potential. You may have already met this person. Some of you are ahead of the timeline here, um, and you have a decision that you need to make between this past person that is coming back, creeping around, and the new person that you met. And that's why Gemini energy, lover's energy here straight from the gate. I think both of everyone involved will have decisions. You and the person on your mind and the new lover and the old karmic Jezebel. Everyone has a lot of decisions to make. Um, I wish you all very well and I hope that it goes exactly the way you want it to. Love and light.